Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games and today we're going to be back in the ARP Haruna or actually we're not going to be back in the Haruna we're going to be actually playing this thing for the first time I did manage to get this ship out of a crate believe it or not and uh, yeah I did decide to buy like four um, uh, of these little ARP uh, a Pregio crates and I actually didn't manage to get quite lucky um, I pulled the ARP Haruna um, I believe the chances of actually getting um, a ship from those crates is about 3%. I'm going to go and put the percentages up on the screen for you guys right about now. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, the chances are not really that good for a ship. It's not even 3%, actually. I was wrong. It's 2.5%. 2.5% um, to actually pull a ship from these crates. So I did get quite lucky indeed. Um, so yeah. Thank you, I guess, Wargaming. I mean, I did still have to spend $15, $20, but I guess it paid off. So, I guess, right? I guess. But, uh, yeah, basically, in case you guys are not aware, the um, Haruna and the Kirishima are Congo-class battleships, okay? They are Congos. Um, in the tech tree for the uh, Japanese, there is the Congo, which is a Tier 4 tech tree battleship. And um, in real life, there were actually four Congos. Um... Uh, that were constructed for the Japanese Imperial Navy, and uh, there's two of them that are in the form of ARP Apregio ships. So, pretty cool. I actually got one of them, and I actually do quite like the Congo at Tier 4. It's actually a very good battleship when it decides to do things. Like, when these 14-inch guns actually decide to hit where they need to, it's pretty dirty. Um, now, in this game in particular, it's not exactly the best game in the world in terms of damage by any means. Keep that in mind. Um, I get only like, I don't even break 100k, I don't even think. And that's because, well, it is my very first game in the Haruna. And, you know, I'm going to be real with you guys. Not every game is going to be a barn burner. Um, that's just how Legends is. So, I do quite like showing these games. Even when they're not exactly the greatest, I do like to just show them... Um, just because, you know, it's a good it's a good way to, you know, let you guys know that not every game is going to be a great game, right? Not every single game is going to be a great game, but it's still, um, I still can teach you guys a little bit about positioning and what I'm doing in this game here. As you guys can probably tell, just by the positioning and um, obviously the carrier's been attacking me, I've actually been doing a pretty good job of dodging a majority of the torpedoes he sent. And uh, yeah, I've been not, basically I've not been pushing straight in i've actually been trying to position myself pretty well and basically not be the center of attention you got to remember the congo class battleships aka the congo haruna the kirishima they are all battle cruisers they're very fast they could reach up to 30 plus knots but they don't have a whole lot of armor okay so you got to be careful battleships can smack you even cruisers can smack you. you've got a lot of superstructure you don't got very good armor you don't got very good deck armor and a lot of those battleships out there, especially the battleships armed with 14-inch, 356-millimeter guns like the ones on the New Yorks, the Texases, the Iron Dukes, all those kind of ships there, 13-inch guns, whatever. Those can go straight through your armor like butter. So you've got to be careful. you got to be positioning pretty well because if you get caught, you will get smacked. you got to remember, the uh, Congo-class battleships do not have very good armor. But they do have very good speed. They can go up to 30 plus knots if you build for it. So keep that in mind too. You're not like American. You're not like an American dreadnought going around to 18 knots. No, 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 no. This is a battle cruiser. Battle cruisers are basically battleships with less armor, battleship sized guns, but they have cruiser speed. It's kind of the whole battleship, uh, battle cruiser concept, if you will. They're, they they have the they have the speed of a cruiser, but they've got the armament of a battleship and the armor itself on the ships are not very good. It's kind of how the battle cruisers are, most of them. Same with the, uh, like for example, the Hood, HMS Hood, one of the most famous battle cruisers ever. That ship had giant 15 inch, uh, 381 millimeter guns um, and it went past 30 knots easily. And also, Minikaze messed up his torpedo strike there and we absolutely smacked him there, as you guys could probably tell. You got to remember, if you see a destroyer closing the distance, he's probably trying to set up a torpedo salvo. So what do you do, guys? Well, you don't sail in a straight line. You actually need to try to dodge and anticipate torpedoes, okay? 
you know, it's one thing to complain about destroyers, but it's another thing to actually be, be able to actually realize when you're under attack, when your ship is at risk. Um, being able to know when you need to turn in to make yourself as narrow as possible is very important. As you guys saw, we dodged pretty much all of his torpedoes that he sent because, well, we knew he was trying something fishy. And, uh, well, I wasn't born yesterday, so we managed to dodge all of those torpedoes that that dude sent. But yes, anyway, going back to the whole battle cruiser kind of deal here. Um, like I said, this thing's very maneuverable in terms of speed. It's not very good at turning, but it's a battleship at the end of the day. I mean... But it, it's very fast, it's very, very agile. Well, not agile, but a very speedy battleship. Um, keep in mind the build on my Haruna. I'm running Takio Takagi. He's level 16, legendary 3. Um, I build for full-on guns. I put all of my stuff into my guns. And even though I have it, all of my stuff into my guns, like in terms of accuracy and dispersion, my accuracy and dispersion still isn't that good in this game, as you guys can see. Um, it's just classic Japanese slash battleship troll shots. I mean, this is what happens. Even if you go full dispersion build, a lot of the times your salvos will just kind of go everywhere. That's just how battleships are at the end of the day, especially Japanese battleships. But it, like I said, if you were to actually build for speed, you can get this thing up to 32, 33, 34 knots. I think my Congo at one point, I built a full speed build and I almost was reaching 40 knots. I was going like 36, 37 knots. It was ridiculous. So... There's a lot of fun things you can do with these ships, like it's pretty hilarious that you're able to sail 30 plus knots at tier 4 in a battleship, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, yeah, I do quite like the Congos, they are decent. They're not great in terms of accuracy, their guns, when they actually hit where they need to, they're pretty good, but for the most part, they're pretty inconsistent, like most battleships, but especially the Congos and uh, these Japanese battleships, mainly because, well... It's just battleships, man, and it's Japanese, very trolly, and uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta definitely depend on the uh, RNG wagon for sure. Now it looks like we're gonna take a torpedo right on the bow, unfortunately. So I pop my heal in advance, and I pop my damage control party, and we put out that flood. That was an Italian torpedo, I believe. So unfortunate, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, I'm not just going to keep sailing backwards. I'm going to go full forwards here, and I'm going to turn away. I know there's a destroyer out here. I'm spotted, and there's no other surface ships nearby. I'm not plane spotted. I am surface spotted, as you guys can see by the eyeball up there. Um, so, I'm going to turn away. I know where the destroyer was last spotted, and essentially, guys, I'm not going to sail in a straight line. I'm not going to make it easy. Okay, that's very important um, when you're in a battleship is basically don't make it easy for people to torpedo. you. Actually try to anticipate where torpedoes are potentially going to be coming from and position accordingly to hopefully dodge incoming torpedoes, right? Because you got to remember, torpedoes go in one straight path, okay? Most destroyer players are going to aim roughly where you're going to be sailing. So trying to throw them off is the best thing you can do in the uh, end, I guess, right? So... Yeah. Anywho, Corbet is out here. He's spotted. And speaking of getting spotted, the uh, the 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 Italian destroyer there actually gets a sneaky, sneaky little shot off around the island. Well played on him. But um, yeah, he actually does manage to get around there, get a shot. He doesn't do any damage. He gets some shatters mainly because well, we have enough armor to actually um, well absorb a lot of those uh, small, small caliber destroyer guns. So. There you go. You gotta remember, on a lot of the destroyers at Tier 4, and a, really any destroyer, most of them have around 5-inch guns, 4-inch guns. They're not very big, and a majority of them shoot HG, so yeah, you really don't have to worry too much about pens unless they hit you in the superstructure like there. And he actually did get a penetration for 500. Um, and he could also get fires too if the game allows him. Now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get my back guns on target to hopefully uh, get some shells on range. I've not been able to hit him very consistently, so I'm really hoping that one of these 14-inch shells lands, and one of them actually does. Unfortunately, it was an overpen, but don't worry. It looks like our battleship that's in front of us, the Kaiser, is actually going to take him down, and down goes that uh, that little um, Italian destroyer that's been an absolute pain in our side the whole entire game. But yeah, like I said, anyway, to sum this ship up here, the Haruna, it's not a bad little ship, man. I mean, it's not great. I, I Would I play this thing over the Congo? Probably not. I think this thing is better 
then uh, I think this thing is actually worse than the Congo slightly, but it's still a good ship. It's a premium too, so you make extra XP, you make extra credits. So I'm probably going to keep this thing around, mainly because I actually quite like the Congo. So I don't know. Um, then again, though, it does depend on a lot of RNG like the Congo does and like most battleships do. But still, I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. But, yeah, as you guys can see there, there's the laser beams. That's that's a really good shot with the front guns there. Three out of four hits with those 14-inch guns. And we just got our high caliber there. We're up to 65,000 damage. And we've got 16 planes shot down in the Haruna. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> that's pretty funny. 16 planes shot down. Can we get a clear sky? It's going to be really tough because we've only got uh, like three, uh, four minutes left in the game. The Corbet is going to die and we're up to 900 points just about. I don't think we're going to have enough time to get a clear sky, unfortunately. Um, but nonetheless, guys, we're coming in uh, on the end of this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, if you guys have stuck in the full uh, 12 minutes of this video so far, make sure to go down there, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Join the Dr. Ghost Games family today, okay? I do appreciate all of you guys that do watch, though, fully uh, through and hit that like button. All the support, seriously, guys, on the channel is greatly appreciated. Um, I know I don't play this game as much anymore. I do apologize for, like, the lack of content lately. I try my best, man. I really do. But, you know, I don't want to constantly... Um, I don't want to basically force myself to record content when I'm not enjoying it. When I, when I record my videos... I want to make sure that I'm fully in it, you know, 100%. Um, and right now, I'm in it 100%. I do love doing YouTube. I do like it. It's fun. And um, I thank you all for the support thus far on the channel. It does mean a lot. It really does. And um, nonetheless, enough talking, enough jibber-jabbering. That, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the end of the game. The whole show gets spotted at the very last second there, unfortunately. There could have been a lot more damage. But yeah, ARP Haruna, not too bad. 71k damage, first game. Top of the leaderboard with 2.2k base XP. But nonetheless, everybody, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.